In this screencast, you are going to learn how to divide fractions. So this can be a little challenging, so please make sure that you're writing down the steps to make sure that you're following the correct process or algorithm to divide fractions. Let's take a look at our first example. Our first example is 2 thirds divided by 1 fifth. As our algorithm or our steps for dividing fractions say, we keep the first fraction the same, change our division sign to multiplication, and we flip the second fraction, which is called the reciprocal. The reciprocal just means it's the opposite, so it's written in the opposite way of the original problem. So it's going to end up becoming 5 over 1. And then we just follow our steps for multiplication. We multiply straight across to our numerators, and we multiply our denominators. So 5 times 2 is 10, 3 times 1 is 3, and now you'll notice that we have an improper fraction. So I have to now put this into simplest form by rewriting this improper fraction as a mixed number. I know that 3 can go into 10 3 times. 3 times 3 is 9, and I have a 1 left over. So I'm going to have 3 and 1 third as my final answer. So let's take a look at our second example. Once again, another fraction division problem. So we're going to keep the first fraction the same, change the division sign to multiplication, and flip the second fraction. I like to call this keep change flip or same change flip because you're keeping the first fraction the same, changing the division sign to multiplication, and then flipping the second fraction to find the reciprocal, and then you follow the steps for multiplication by multiplying straight across. So 7 times 2 is 14, 8 times 1 is 8. I know 8 can go into 14 one time, 14 minus 8 is 6, so I have 1 and 6 eighths. This is not in simplest form, though, because I can still divide by 2 and get a final answer of 1 and 3 fourths. So my final answer would be 1 and 3 fourths in simplest form. Next example is looking at dividing a fraction by a whole number. So once again, you're going to write a 1 underneath the whole number because you want to change that whole number into a fraction and then you're going to go through the steps of keeping the first fraction the same, changing division to multiplication, and then flipping 2 over 1 to become 1 half. And then I'm going to multiply straight across. When I multiply straight across, 3 times 1 is 3, 5 times 2 is 10, and this time my answer isn't already in simplest form, so I can keep it, and my final answer would be 3 tenths. So once again, the steps for dividing fractions are keep the first fraction the same, change the division sign to multiplication, flip the second fraction to find the reciprocal, and then multiply numerator by numerator, denominator by denominator, and then make sure you're writing your final answer in simplest form.